there's a difference in our lives between things we need and things we desire. Now, I have three kids, and when they were little, even still, sometimes as young adults, there are things they want so bad, but they don't actually need them. They just really want them. And we have to learn sometimes that there are things, even as adults, that we don't need. The problem is we put so much emphasis on those things that we desire that often we make them needs to ourselves when the reality is they're not needs. We, we make them important in our lives in a place that often tends to eclipse what God desires in our lives. And that is what we see with some of the behaviors noted in 1 Corinthians chapter 6. So if you've been following along with me, I've been reading through my chronological Bible, and I'm right now in 1 Corinthians digging in a little bit. And these are some really hard passages with hard truth for us. The one I want to hit on today is 1 Corinthians 6, starting in verse 18. It says, run from sexual sin. No other sin so clearly affects the body as this one does. For sexual immorality is a sin against your own body. I'm going to stop there. When you have sex with someone, it is not just a physical act. There is some emotional, mental connection for the rest of your life with that person regardless of how casual the affair might have been. It's not done and you're fine and life is good. There are remnants forever. It is something that impacts your body immensely. It says, don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? You do not belong to yourself, for God bought you with a high price. So you must honor God with your body. My friends, Jesus did pay the price for us, the ultimate price of losing his own life on the cross. He died for us. And in rising from the dead, he overcame sin. Sexual sin isn't the worst sin in the world, but it is sin. And it's one that a lot of people like to perpetuate because they think it's okay. It's just a little sin. But the reality is that God wants our focus on him, not those things we desire so much that we're going to eclipse what God means to us. In fact, when you look at the original language for this passage, it's the word is fornication, and it can mean either sexual sin or idolatry. Those are the same things that take our eyes off God. Something to contemplate today. We'll talk more later.